Talk about the composition of the air in the aftermath of a wildfire like this in terms of the things that have burned and why they are so toxic, not only neurotoxic, but toxic for your whole body. So we have tons of evidence, unfortunately, because we burn fossil fuels, oil, coal, and natural gas, um, we, we make these tiny little particles, it's called particulate matter pollution. It's also um, in wildfire smoke, right? When, when we burn anything, it produces these tiny little particles. And we have tons of evidence that we see more deaths yearly the, from particulate matter pollution than tobacco worldwide. Yeah. And Seriously? Seriously. Um, so we're, and we're, by the way, we're always bringing this pollution um, because we continue to burn fossil fuels. Um, so, so that particulate matter pollution is also in wildfire smoke and it's at very high levels. There is no level of particulate matter pollution that is safe. Um, the WHO sets a level at five micrograms per cubic meter, um, but we, the, the evidence shows there's no such thing as a safe level. And so um, the air quality index that you're looking at, usually it's the, the particulate matter pollution that drives it between the different color blocks because that's most of what's in the air. The other toxins that uh, we worry about with wildfire smoke, so when things, when a wildfire happens, a car burns, a home burns, Burns, pesticides and plastics, um, everything within our house. And so there are other chemicals that get released. So there are gases, things like volatile organic compounds and polyaromatic hydrocarbons, um, metals as well. So lead and cadmium, um, copper can end up in things like the ash and can get aerosolized as well. So these are um, all, um, they can cause, uh, they're linked to cancer, they're linked to cardiac um, damage, they're linked to um, things like headaches, they have lots of different effects on different parts of our bodies. 